Good morning, sheep fans. Cami's the name, Sheep's the Game. We are going to be, what are we doing? Smart shot again for the lambs. Those for the lambs are first drench, white wormer. This, as I explained in the previous videos, nematodirus is the big issue this time of year. We're going to give them a dose for that and get everything done before shearing starts proper and I'm away most days. So it's quite a simple job today because these sheep don't need dagged, although one batch here does need dagged, so we'll also have the tapari coming too. Close up some of the sheep here. Maybe I brought the foot bath, eh? Teamwork makes the dream work. Lizzie's here, Marissa's here. I'm gonna jag and doze. Uh, Marissa's gonna count and tag, I think is the plan. Or Lizzie's gonna doze, Marissa's gonna tag and put them in the thing until Owen gets here. Owen's can't give us a hand, but poor boy works night shift every night on the railway, so um, I always tell him to just come when he's ready. Poor guy, I worry about him. Let me in the you thought. Like we're in the doze, innit? Easy. They're actually looking quite good, they use. These are better, you How'd you came out with one you've done and what one you have done? <laughs> so we're all just, just recording them all on the old flock watch here. As Lizzie goes, it's going to group loud and use. We... All the lambs are recorded as well. We've got this girl here, she's just had some Draxon and Metacam. And now we're just doing a very careful trim round about this uh, strawberry she's got on her foot here. Uh, a real, real nasty one there, so. Just try to be very careful because we're, we're going to put a rubber band on here. Just cut the circulation. A bit of bell twine might have been an answer too, but honestly, I think, I think this one's so big, I think a rubber band would do the job just quite nicely. Perfect. So that'll cut the circulation off. She's had painkillers, she's had antibiotics. This one was it? Hold on tight. There we go. Let her go. Oh. I've just put a killing tag in that ewe there as well because we're, we're trying to get rid of anything that's having um, sore foot issues and all those things being a bit more ruthless to be honest with you. Need to get on top of it. Keep saying it, we're going to foot packs of course. It's not sure what the audio was like and the stuff I've just done because I've only just realised my mic wasn't plugged in. Hopefully it was good. Today, I think I've told you what we're doing and that stuff is fine. But now we're working away, marking lambs, well not marking lambs, the lambs are marked, we are smart shotting, I told you what we're doing, flat out. Slotting the ewes in here, so that we have a nice pen of lambs. 
Oh, big strong lambs. Nearly beat them. Lambs are looking tremendous. That is a beast there. I don't think it would be much easier if I, if I actually helped a little bit. But it's one of those difficult things. Somebody's got to hold the camera. I do do some work, honestly, I do. We're about to start shearing. Tomorrow's the first sort of big day of the season. We'll, of course, take you with us. I've already got Crovect all on my arm. It's on fire. Ooh, nippy, nippy. That was from that sheep with the sore foot. Right, let's do some more. I know, because I had to try and hold it for you because you were making such a job yet. Oh no, just tell us what's well, 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 do you know what I just thought about this? I think it, I, I was speaking that it's better if it's moving about all the time rather than hanging up. I, I see because I'm moving about all the time, I think it's <laughs> looking good. Right, mums are all crowvecked here. Steady, steady, steady. I can't believe I don't have my microphone on. What's that, Lizzie? Aye, just put them all on that. Underestimated how many lambs are here, I need to just record some more tags. So we just record the lambs like this as we go. Could do quite a few because we need more for the whole lot as well, I think. We get these tags from J.M. Anderson at Stuarton. Quite good, you just text them. Text Tom and say what you're after and he has them ready for you within a couple of days. Hard to beat for service, like, and they're actually tremendous tags. Okay, setting the tapari up, here we go. In fact, Marissa, could you hold this just briefly to me? I know you've got other jobs there, I'm sorry. Sorry for everybody. I've tried. It's always so busy, that's why it's so hard to vlog this time of year, because everyone's got jobs, then I'm like, can you hold the camera? And they're like, no, Cammy, I've got this job to do, but Marissa's too nice to say no. So here we go, let's set the tapari up. We've literally just reversed it in, not done anything else. Well, we hitched it off as well. And now we winch it up, 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 up. Like this. And that bit there, Marissa, if you just show the bit that's actually going down there, see that? And you just keep going till the wheels are off the ground, like this. And then both sides come off. I do this side, pull these two pins here. Two pins just pull, and then the wheel should just slide out. Owen's doing the other side for me. Set that there. You imagine, okay, that's it. Turn that, and then, oh, watch the dog's not underneath. Oh, draw bar in, I made that mistake the other day. That's okay, pull a pin here, this just slides, like that. Pop this back in here, thanks, Owen. Like this. That'll stay in there, we don't lose it. Lower it down. Good. And that's it, more or less ready to rock. Well, it's not really, I still need to get the compressor and stuff, it's in the trailer. Let's get that out. Uh, I'll bring it over. We have some cables and things too. There is a few little items, but you're probably 10 minutes to set up for two hours of pleasure. Got this little compressor that does the job, it's superb. Let's sit here. Generator. <laughs> Sorry folks. That was close. I don't know how much you missed there. The mic was away over there. That was the tubes plugged in. I'll voice that over if it fell off. And then this plugs in here. I'm so erratic. Everything's jobs, jobs, jobs. I could plug this over here. I could have moved the compressor closer actually because it's a very quiet compressor. But we'll just use this one. That's that. Is that all the Tapari needs? Oh yeah, my foot pedal. Come come here, Abdul. Set this here into the hoist because we've got used to dag at this location. That plugs in, that'll fuck the tapari over and back. And now let's just switch it all on. If I'm going too fast, see Marissa, just let me know. I can slow down a bit. Right, does this put this on? Here we go. No, no wait. That's it. It's quite a quiet compressor. That's, oh, you don't need to come closer because the mic's here. Like, it is quite good. It's nice and quiet. And then I need to turn the pressure up somehow, do I? Turn it this... No. Lift it and turn to increase the pressure on this little dial here. Oh, it needs to fill with air first, obviously. We can tweak that to suit. And then we'll just give it a second. Owen's just hooking up the iPad. I wonder if I switched it off the last day. 
Sometimes if you don't if you don't switch off and you let it run right out of battery, similar to an iPhone, you have to give it a, a minute or two just to get some charge in it, but let's see if it'll come on there. Maybe not. Let it charge. Oh it is, it's coming on. The eye ruggy. Hard to see with the lighting. So this is a SIM card built into it, sends signals to NASA or wherever it goes. Let's see what happens with this switch on. I'm probably rushing this because you're meant to let the air compressor fill up, but if we do this and then I do release. Almost there, it's not quite got the zing that we need uh, and that we expect, but we'll get there. And that's it set up, what'd that take? How long has that been recording? Six minutes and that's, you know, a bit of messing about. But it's, uh, yeah, six minutes of work for two hours of pleasure. Let's get some sheep in. Round two then. This is the ones that haven't been dagged, the last batch that haven't been dagged. Maggots. Let me show you. Maggots. And there. What else? Maggots probably. Suffolk's. Suffolk's are famous for having dirty bums. I don't know what it is about the genetics of them. It's probably one big factor why a lot of people prefer the Texels to Suffolk's, to be honest with you, because Suffolk's a great carcass animal. Um, great for, for that prime lamb production. But man, there are some dirty tails, eh? I know some people are trying to breed them a bit different. Now, machine's all switched on. Let's see if we're ready to rock. That's all good. Uh, catch is on auto, entry gate's on auto. If I push catch... Oh, oh, oh. oh. we're away now. Release. Good, I'll just set the app up. Oh, uh, these don't need those. They do? Have you got the dozing gun? Yeah. Oh, did you? It's a parry gun. Oh, you did, Lizzie, you're so good. She's good, isn't she? Right. Press that the parry gun on. This calibrates for anyone anyone new to the channel. Uh, it will be in a second on. Anyone new to the channel, the Tapari gun that Lizzie is holding. We're giving them a, a white wormer, just the same as the lambs are getting, but they get 1.5 times the dose rate to cover any adult fluke issues. We get some problems with that last year. So we go yard app to start. Did I press it? No, I pressed it. No, no, I'll just set this up. So, right, we've got ID required. Uh, calibrated dozing. Yeah, just close that, Lizzie, that's fine. Um, previous weight we have for all these sheep because they've all been on the system. Hit next. And I'm going to add an event. It's going to be Loudon. Most of you guys know where that is. Well, Ayrshire guys know where that is. Date of movement is. Da, 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 da. For anyone who was watching this video wondering where I am today, I know a lot of uh, local guys are often wondering where all my grazing is. So we flick through to today's date, which is somewhere in May. It's a Tuesday, no, it's a Monday, it's the 22nd. And then we're going to do dozing, it's going to be uh, Rykabin Fluke. So that's set, it's Rykabin, but it's set at the rate for Fluke dozing. And that's a save. And that's a next. No new animals to weigh. Start session. Boom. We're ready to rock. But we're going to do some lambs first. All the same stuff again with the lambs, they're all tailed. It's just a doze, a tag, and a jag. <coughs> Little Angus is out with us today. Sound asleep here. Watching the work going on. I'm in two minds here, like, we've got Owen obviously Crovect and all the lambs, but I'm in two minds whether we should just have been clicking them just now. And realistically, click extra, we probably should have been. But we usually always do them at clipping time. So we clip the ewes and we just uh, we click all the lambs, but we haven't. And to be honest, they're just getting a scuff. They're getting 10 mil, a uh, 15, 15 mil acrovex, which is, pe is pennies per lamb, that's one thing. And it's just enough to keep them going for the next four weeks before we shear them. Let me know what you think. Should I just be clicking them? Uh, Mercy, if you hold this, we'll just do a quick demo. We'll not, we'll not show you everyone, guys, because you'll get bored, but sheep was automatically clamped. Uh, is she going to be dozed, Lizzie? Lizzie's about to doze her with the... The dough is that the machine's decided she's 60 kilos. Lizzie's got the nozzle a bit, but do you like it that way? No, I just clicked it up with the nozzle. Yeah, so the nozzle's just twisted, that needs sorted a little bit. But the, sh the machine's weighed her at 60 kilos, decided she needs 18 mil of Rykabin to be fluke dosed. We then bring her over, flick this open, and then we can work away here nicely, getting all this dirty wool off. 
where the flies are going to land, although as you saw in that last sheep, they'll land somewhere anyway. I don't know who's wrong this tail as a, as a, a ewe lamb, but it's far too short. Nicely done, and then Owen's going to nail her with a crow vect, and off she goes. Away you go, lass. And then the next one will run in. Although, obviously, she doesn't need done. She's peeled herself, she hasn't been shown. She'll just get a, a doze and a, a crowvec. She's, she's got no lamb anymore. So there's a great example of why some people think it, when they see the sheep after lambing losing their wool, they might think, oh, she gets scab or what's wrong. She's had something wrong at lambing time, which is why she's got a killing tag in. These big orange discs, if you look there, Minister. These big orange discs, what's wrong with her? What was those ones? Oh, she's twin lamb. Yeah, twin lamb in the shed. But but losing her wool is actually a great sign. It means they're on the thrive. So you look at the condition of sheep now. She's she's fat. She's ready to go to market. To be honest with you, um, she's not wearing the lamb. That's why she looks so good. So if they're losing the wool, it can either mean bad things like scab or lice, but it can also mean they're on a real thrive, which is what's happened to her. Just like that, all done. All the gear. No idea. Just finishing, spot a crow vector and all these lambs here. I've got the old shots on, so better job for Owen. Everyone keeps asking when the shots are coming. First of June, hopefully, we'll have them ready. I'm also trying to get these hats for sheep game, but, because they'll just, look, let me show you the inside. It's got this nice, soft band around it. Pure comfort, CF Moto would do them, but, um, I want to do them, I think they're amazing. Just a case of packing up now, heading for home. Some game.